Hello everyone, my name is Eileen and I am content creator at Overly. Today I'm going to quickly walk you through creating an augmented reality gallery using Overly Creator. Just before we go into Creator itself, I want to give you a quick tip on how to make your augmented reality gallery really look smooth. So, I am using Canva for this, but you can use Paint, Adobe or any other photo editing software that you feel comfortable using. Basically, the key thing that you should do before uploading any photos into our creator is to resize them to be the same dimensions. Because when you think of augmented reality gallery, you're thinking of an AR experience where photos overlay photos and you want that experience to look smooth. So, for example, I am creating a wall canvas and this is going to be my marker image and an image that I'm going to print and put on my wall. So when I think about photos that I'm going to put on top of it, I want them all to be the same dimensions. So for example, if I was to just, you know, pick any photo, for example, this, and place it on my augmented reality gallery, look, it doesn't overlay the marker perfectly. It doesn't look really smooth if it pops on top and then my marker image is still visible. It just looks like a bit out of place. So that's why I'm using Canva just you know putting my marker image underneath and resizing everything to be uh, the same size as, a, as it is and then I, it's easily downloadable from here and uh, i've also you know created this to be the same dimension as my canvas so i don't have to really think about it so basically i'm creating images to be the same dimensions downloading them from here and then all i will have to do is upload them to overly creator and Publish. I won't have to think about sizing or how it's going to stretch out my images or anything like that. But yeah, that's a quick tip. So once you have your images ready, we can jump over to Overly Creator. So let's start by creating a new project. So this is going to be wall canvas in my instance. I'm going to add a marker image and also give that a name. And then all I'm doing is creating a project and straight away I'm taken to a place where I can pick what sort of content I want to upload. So in this instance, I'm doing gallery and here I just have to upload images that I want to select. And as you will see, they are quickly uploading and they are just overlaying my Canva and I don't have to worry about resizing them any further, further or them stretching that and looking out of size. That's all. All I have to do is to upload them. And once I'm happy with the images that I've uploaded, there is another functionality that I can use. I can uh, rearrange them just by uh, moving those uh, dots on the right hand side of the images. And once I'm happy with the order, all I have to do is publish my gallery. And now whenever somebody scans my marker image, which is going to be a raw canvas, and, and I'm going to include an example, and at the beginning or at the end, at the end of this video, just to showcase how it will look. Yeah, so whenever they scan my canvas at home, they will be able to view the additional pictures from my trip. So please leave me a comment below if you have any questions regarding creating a gallery or just any comments. About